Thank you very much, and good morning to all of you. I'm actually here filling two roles, and I want to define those two roles for you. I represent the Salvation Army as the Chief Communications Officer, but today I'm also representing a network of, of wonderful voluntary organizations that we refer to as VOAD. National Voluntary Organizations Active in Disasters is a network of 50 different nonprofit organizations, each extremely gifted with a particular skill. And throughout the year, not just when a disaster arrives, but 365 days out of the year, this group of organizations who are committed to saving lives and rebuilding lives after devastation work on how we can best respond collaboratively whenever a disaster strikes. And that voluntary organization has been mobilized very effectively thus far uh, with this particular hurricane. And uh, some preliminary numbers, one of the agencies are the Southern Baptist, and the Southern Baptist men are well known for their ability to cook wonderful meals. And uh, already they have 131 kitchens on standby uh, with an average capacity of, of meals of 130,000 meals on a daily basis. <laughs> uh, so, so there's all kinds of that, that type of work that will take place pre-planned highly coordinated as a support infrastructure for FEMA as we work together. Both the Red Cross and the Salvation Army are active members of VOAD. Now, on a Salvation Army standpoint, let me say that we have been actively uh, engaged since Irene came on the radar screen. And the reason being is that we have responsibility for Puerto Rico and some of the islands of the Caribbean. And I would remind you to look back a few days as this slow-moving storm continues to work. We have been dealing with uh, major issues on the islands of the Caribbean, Puerto Rico, and uh, the Dominican Republic. And uh, we have been reported, the last report I had, which was yesterday, 800,000 individuals with no power. Uh, on those islands. And so feeding and sheltering and uh, spiritual care is all being uh, implemented still on those regions. In the early days of preparation, we put command teams in Florida, uh, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, all positioned in safe ranges so that when we understand where the impact is most going to be, we will be mobilized and quick to respond. We currently have in North Carolina the capacity of 300 individual canteens, feeding canteens, that can, that can serve 1,500 meals a day, and mobile kitchens that can prepare up to 150,000 meals. So our specialty in these kind of situations is mass care, mostly feeding, doing some sheltering. Three shelters are operating uh, under our auspices in North Carolina, and they tell me that breakfast began this morning at the first crack of dawn. So that kind of work is going on. We're now positioning Florida assets moving further up the coast, and we have put a, a, a large asset base at a Salvation Army summer camp, usually used for children in the summer, is now housing uh, people in uh, eastern Pennsylvania who will be mobilized in whichever direction on the East Coast that, that they are most needed as the uh, definition of this storm continues to take shape. And, and we agree and have continually announced that this is a serious storm, and we are putting all of our assets in place. We, we have approached it on the Salvation Army viewpoint as a national disaster, which gives us access to all of the resources from all 50 states across America, and we are mobilizing volunteers and those assets in the key strategic areas so that as the storm moves through, we will know precisely where to send those assets to be able to respond. Our contribution to this will be uh, mass feeding, uh, some sheltering, uh, long-term case, case management, and emotional and spiritual care. Those are the things that we feel that we do extremely well, and we are able to function in this partnership with the Red Cross, with FEMA, and through the group of the 50 organizations that represent VOAN. Thank you very much.